my name is Chia Hui Hee and I would like to present our assignment in Business Mathematics. In performing our assignment, we would like to thank those who had assisted us in this particular assignment, including our lecturers, parents, group members, and the university and friends. In this assignment, there are three objectives of this study. The first one is to know how to calculate employees' salaries, wages, interest, and other calculations related to business. The second objective is to understand and applying the business mathematic concept in real life situation in any type of business. The third objective is to know how to calculate the value of our assets in the future. Next, I would like to explain the company's information. Our name of the company is The Baker. The address is number 8, Jalan Raja, City Centre, 521. 00 Selangor, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and the owner is Mr. Felix. The date of establishment is 21st March 2009 and the type of business is food. Next is the employees profile. We have 15 employees in our company. We have 3 employees in the sales department, 3 in the administration department, 3 in the production department and 3 in the marketing department and lastly we have three employees in the payroll department all, uh, all of them have different regular pay hourly pay overtime pay and commission but they all have the same hour, hourly work per day which is eight hours day of work per week five days and hourly work per week 40 hours my name is hong Sylvan and i would like to explain about the calculation in the payroll report the payroll report recorded the hourly rate, regular hours, overtime hours, regular pay, overtime pay, commission, piecework earning, and the gross pay of each employee. The regular pay is calculated by hourly rate times the regular hours, and the overtime pay, hourly rate times the overtime rate, that is 1.5 times overtime hour. Commission, total sales times commission rate. Piecework earning, the number of units produced times the rate per unit. And the gross pay, the regular pay plus the overtime pay plus commission plus the piecework earning. Okay, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to present my business math assignment, question number two. Estimate the amount that your company need to start up the business and using the interest rate given, find the interest amount and the amount after the time given. Show all the calculations. So, the amount that we estimated uh, for our own money is under 50,000 and a loan from relative it is 50,000 and a loan from bank A is 300,000. The total uh, value is 500,000. The calculation is to calculate the loan from relative is 1 equals 2 PRT which is the principal is 50,000 and the rate is 0 0.05 and the time is 6 of the uh, The value is 1,250. To calculate future value uh, for loan from relative is uh, S equals 2 P 1 plus RT which is the P is 50,000 and 1 plus the rate is 0 0.05 and the time is 6 or 12. The value is 51,250. Uh, the value for bank A, we have to calculate the future value for loan from bank A first. That is uh, S equals to P, 1 plus I, uh, power of N, which is the uh, P is 300,000, 1 plus 0 0.075 over 2, power of 14. The value is 502,290 ringgit and 23 cents. The interest amount for loan from bank A is um, I equals to S minus P, which is the S is 502,290 uh, ringgit, 23 cents, minus with 300,000 equals to 202,290 ringgit and 23 cents. So this
these are the full table of UN. For question 2B, they have to create a promising note uh, for loan from the based on table 1 and using uh, the date, date of established as the date of note. So these are the promissory notes that are for a label. That's all from me. Thank you. Even based on the question, we estimate cost of the asset that need by question based on the real market. From our case study, we set cost of equipment at twenty thousand, cost of furniture at thirty five thousand, cost of machinery at seventy five thousand, and the cost of the land at three hundred thousand. So our total asset will be four hundred and thirty thousand. Four point two depreciation schedule. 4.2.1 Delining balance method Cost of, cost of machinery is 75,000 Rate of service value is 14% And the useful life is 5 years To count service value 0 0.14 times with 75,000 equal to 10,500 This is the formula of rate of depreciation Based on the data we have We sub into the formula then we get 32.51%. This is the schedule. Based on the schedule, the higher depreciation occurs in the early life of the asset. For example, as the fir first year was the highest depreciation and in the last year has a lower des depreciation. Sum of year digit method. The formula is S equal to N bracket N plus 1 bracket divided by 2. So we sub the data into the formula, we get 10. The total depreciation is cost minus average value, which is 85,000 minus 10,200 equal to 74,800. This is the schedule we have. Formula of annual depreciation is RT times TD. RT equal to N minus T plus 1 divided by S. Total depreciation equal to C minus SV, which is 75,000 minus 10,500 equal to 64,500. The rate of depreciation is based on the sum of digit that representing the number of years of the asset useful life. The book went of fifth year must same with salvage value. Next, I will explain the Part 4.3 which is invoice. Question 1 is assume that the invoice for machinery cost is 5,000 ringgit and dated on 4th June 2017 from supplier B with term 2 per 15 and per 30 if the invoice paid on 7th June 2017. So we use 7 days minus 4 days equals to 3 days and 3 days is less than 15 days. So we use 5,000 ringgit times 2% equal to 100 ringgit and use 5,000 ringgit minus 100 ringgit equal to 4,900 ringgit. So the company can pay in the discount price which is 4,900 ringgit. For the question 2, assume that the invoice for the machinery cost is 5,000 ringgit and it is stated on 4th June 2017 from supplier B with turn of 2 per 15 and per 30. If the invoice paid on 28 June, Jul 28 June 2017, so we use 28 days minus 4 days equals to 24 days and 24 days is larger than 15 days. So the company must pay in the original price which is 5,000 ringgit with no discount. Based on the question, we can know if my, com if my company can make payment within 15 days from receive the invoice that is doing payment before 19 June, our company will have a discount at 2%. However, if the payment made after 15 days from receive the invoice that is make payment after 19 June, my company have to pay in the original price. Thousand. 
we can clearly know that the total amount of money that company pays to each employee. The payroll report recorded the regular hours of an employee works, the hourly rate, overtime pay, commission, piecework earning of each employee. Question 2. We know the interest charged by the bank for our loan to start up the business. The, in, in, the interest charged for the loan from relative is calculated by a simple interest while the loan from the bank is charged as the compounded interest. Question 3. The depreciation schedule show that the actual value of all the fixed, as fixed items after depreciation. Lastly, question 4. The amortization schedule show the depreciation of the principle of loan and interest payment for the various periodic payments. The table is consulted and provided with the basis details of loan amount, interest paid, principal paid, and number of installments.